cheese platters. You know, what can you say? It's the perfect appetizer for any type of gathering. Now, the essence to a great cheese platter is not to grab whatever cheeses you have in your fridge, slap it together on a plate and serve it. It's about grabbing the perfect combination of cheeses and then pairing them with the right fruits and nuts to create an explosion of flavors in your mouth. That is what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, I'm gonna start rolling out this dough here to make some homemade crackers that goes perfect with this cheese platter. So while I roll this out, let me show you how I put this dough together. Add one cup of all-purpose flour to a bowl, a quarter teaspoon of white sugar, half a teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of dried rosemary. Now mix the dry ingredients together. Once well mixed, add one tablespoon of extra virgin Spanish olive oil and one third cup of water. Now mix everything together until you form a dough. Once you get to this texture right here, let's get rid of the spoon and get in there with our hands and start mixing it. And you want to knead this inside of the bowl between one to two minutes. Now we'll shape it into a ball. Add some parchment paper to a flat surface. Sprinkle it with some all-purpose flour. Add the ball of dough on top and using the palm of your hand, start flattening it out. And begin to roll out the dough. We want a thickness of about 1 16th of an inch. Okay, now use a pizza roller to cut some lines that are about an inch apart. Now we're gonna cut some horizontal lines that are about an inch and a half apart. Now transfer the parchment paper with the dough to a baking tray. Okay, now we're gonna add our baking tray into a preheated oven that's on the bake and broil option, 250 degrees Celsius between nine to 11 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna start putting our cheese platter together. The four cheeses I've selected for this platter are an aged manchego, a mature cheddar, a mild gouda, and a brie cheese. All four of these cheeses come from different regions, but they all complement each other. Okay, I'm gonna grab my cheeses from the fridge and I'm gonna use a cutting board as my platter. Okay, we have our aged manchego, our mature cheddar, our mild gouda, and the brie cheese. Okay, we're gonna open up our cheeses, cut a couple slices from each one, and then decorate them throughout the cutting board. Okay, now we're gonna add our fruits and our nuts into our cheese platter. Now, the combinations that I've created here create an explosion of flavors. For the aged queso manchego, I'm gonna pair it up with some Marcona almonds. This combination just gives a flavor that's phenomenal. For the mature cheddar, I'm gonna pair it up with some green grapes. I was gonna say olives, but it's actually grapes. Let me tell you, the sweetness of the grapes with the saltiness of the cheddar create an explosion of flavors in your mouth. For the mild Gouda, I'm gonna pair it up with some walnuts. Again, this just has great textures and flavors. And for our brie cheese, we're gonna pair it up with some fresh strawberries. This combination just melts in your mouth. Okay, now we're gonna grab our homemade crackers and spread them out throughout the board. And look at this beautiful spread that we've put together. This is guaranteed to be a hit at your next gathering. Okay, Okay, now I'm gonna give this cheese platter a try. Try one of the crackers first. Great flavors, nice crunch to them. And I'm gonna try the one I've been waiting for here, the mature cheddar with one of the green grapes. Let's try this combination out. So good. The sweetness from the grapes, the saltiness from the cheddar. Fantastic stuff. I'm gonna do one more try here. I'm gonna try the mild gouda with one of the walnuts. Here we go. And then amazing, great textures. The problem here is, I think I'm gonna eat this entire cheese platter. If you enjoyed today's video making this cheese platter, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, hasta luego.